everybody. Welcome back. This is our last lesson from chapter two. So exciting. Um, our lesson is number 28 and it is on diagraph CH, SH, WH, and PH. Our target today is that I can read and write words with CH, SH, WH, and PH digraphs. Um, and remember that if you're joining us live, uh, that we are doing these live lessons at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is our last one, though, for Chapter 2. Um, and my name is Brittany Gardner, and I'm going to be your teacher for today. This is Eden, my daughter. She's going to be one of our students. And Jillian, did you want to introduce yourself? Welcome. So glad you're here. Great. All right. So we are going to start off with a review because, again, we always start out with review for Reading Horizons because we want to make sure we're still remembering all of our previous lessons. We do teach to mastery, so making sure that we're um, on the right lesson is important so that we're not doing something that's too hard. All right, so for our review today, we are going to practice our voiced and voiceless TH digraphs. So we have these lovely symbols up here on the top of this chart. So we ha I'm going to have you write this on your whiteboard. So we will need this for our, um, for mine? our activity. So again, with your materials, you'll need a marker or, and a whiteboard. Where's your marker? It's, on the, it's right there. Um, so you'll need a marker and a whiteboard and an eraser. Or if you don't have any of those materials, you can still use a crayon, a pencil, or anything like that with a piece of paper. So if, you're, if you don't have a whiteboard, but you do have a whiteboard marker, again, you can use, be creative and use a, a window, a mirror, a plastic plate, or even a binder with the plastic on it. So that's up to you how you're going to decide what materials to use. So you will need those materials for our review for today. We are going to determine which of these words on the screen are voiced or voiceless with their TH digraph. All right, so remember, you can figure that out by putting your hand on your throat. You're gonna to wanna to put at least three fingers there so that you can feel it really good. Um, and you're gonna read the word. So for example, the word path, let's read, say the word path. 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 And think about that TH part. Path. Is that voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Voiceless, yep. So we're gonna put that under the voiceless picture. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to um, determine whether the rest of those words on the screen are voiced or voiceless TH digraph words. Okay? Thanks. When you're finished, go ahead and show your board. When you're finished at home, go ahead and show a parent. We're going to show you the answers in just a few minutes. Okay. Them. Oh, you got to write the word path. So don't just write TH, write path. Well, it's hard. It's all right. We'll try it. Good. What does this word say? Can you read that? Think. Is that voiced or voiceless TH? Put your hand on the think. No, the, we're, we're thinking about the TH part, so think. Is that voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Good. Go ahead and write it there. Okay. What about next? So, here, I'll write them for you. Tell me if they're voiced or voiceless. Okay. What's this word right here? The. Put your hand on your throat. The. 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 Voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Okay. Put it on this side. Now you. Oh, yes. Sorry. Okay, what about this one? Here, you can do it on my board with me. Then. Voice or voiceless? Voice. Okay, what about them? Hey, we're almost finishing up. Jillian, how are you doing? 
Lösa. En last one. With. Voiceless. Okay. okay. I have mine done. Do you have yours done, Jillian? Eden and I work together. Perfect. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the screen. Mommy. Here are the words that are the TH voice digraph. This, their, then, the, and them. They all have that vibratory piece. And the words that are voiceless, thin, think, path, with, and think. <laughs> okay? <laughs> all right. Perfect. So go ahead and erase your boards. You erase my board too. And let's get started with our lesson. So today, from our poster, you can actually find the, uh, the digraphs on this 42 sounds of the alphabet poster. Um, we've already done the two THs, so today we're gonna focus on the CH, SH, WH, and the PH digraphs. So let's go through each one of those, and um, we'll talk about the sound they make and how we can mark them within words. All right, so this is our first one, CH. CH, we're going to mark them the same way that we would do a blend because they are a unit. We're gonna mark them together with that arc. You see that? Okay, so digraphs are marked the same way as blends, but a digraph is different than a blend because blends, you hear each sound of the consonants that are in the blend. And remember, there can be two or three consonants in a blend. With a digraph, it's a little different because the two consonants just make one sound. You hear that, Eden? Yeah. So how many sounds does a digraph make? How many sounds is that? Two. Is that two sounds or one sound? One sound, yes. So the CH digraph says ch. So everyone read that with me. Ch. Perfect. All right, now let's put that digraph ch. With some with some slides so that we can have the correct um, placement of our mouth. All right, so let's read them. So C H A. We're going to arc that um, digraph and then draw our slide arrow to read all the way to the vowel. And what does that slide say, everyone? Cha. Cha. Yes. Ah. With like we're eating eating an apple. Chat. Perfect. It can make the word chat. It could build the word chat. We'll work. We'll talk about building words in just a minute. All right. So in the next slide that we have is S or C-H-E, so we're gonna arc that chi. digraph and draw chi. the slide arrow. It doesn't say chi. Remember that chi. we are going to have the vowel sound e eh because it's not a word yet, right? We're building a word. Chi. We're about to build a word. So let's read that together, everyone. It says chi. Chi. Perfect. Chi. Let's wait until we're ready to read it, okay? okay? All right, the next one is C-H-O. We're going to arc that digraph and then we're gonna draw, draw our slide arrow. Everyone read that together, it says? Cha. Cha. Good. The next one up here, we have the value with it. We're going to arc that digraph and we're going to draw our slide arrow together. This says cha. cha. Uh, yes. Good job, Jillian. Uh, it has that uh sound in it. All right. And the last one, we have the CH digraph with the vowel I. We're going to slide to the vowel Shit. I. And everyone, it says cha. We're itching. Good. Cha. That vowel Shit. sound. But guess what, Mom? What? It can make the word chick. It could make the word chick, and Easter is coming up, so that's pretty great. All right, so we have the slide, C-H-A. Let's read that one together, friends. It says, cha. Yeah. Perfect. Our next, uh, if we add a consonant to that word, or to that slide, it builds a word, and we have the C-H digraph, and because it's a word, we're going to X the vowel, right? So let's read that slide again one more time. It says, cha. cha. And the word is, cha. cha. Good. What does chat mean? Chat means that you're talking to somebody, so we could chat together. Yeah. Talk together. Yeah. Or you could chat to somebody on the phone. Yeah. That's a good idea, too. Or you can chat to your cousins or friends. Absolutely. All right, well, let's look at this next one. So we have the C-H-E slide, and then we have the C-H-E slide in the word with a T at the end. So we're going to arc that C-H digraph and put an X under the vowel because it is a word, right? Yeah. Let's read the slide first, friends. It says... Chet. And the word is chet. 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 Now you'll notice that the C is capitalized. Do you see that as an uppercase C instead of a lowercase C? No. Uh, it's a big C, right? Look at that little C and then look at that big C. 
it's an uppercase C. So because it's an uppercase C, I know that it is a name. So it's a proper noun, which means it's somebody's name. So we could say I have an Uncle Chet or something like that. If you have an Uncle Chet, that would be great. <laughs> All right, let's look at another one. So we have the CHO slide, and then we're going to add that P to that to make a word, and we're going to arc that CH digraph and put an X under the vowel O because now it is a word. Let's read the slide together, friends. The slide says cha, and the word is cha. I'm going to chop my vegetables for dinner. I'm going to chop a tree down. Oh, you could chop a tree down for sure. All right, let's look at another one. Another vowel, the U. You have the CHU slide in the word that we add a, a consonant to the end to build that word. We're gonna arc our CH digraph and put an X under that vowel. Let's read the slide together, friends. It says, cha. And the word is? Chug. So you could chug a glass of water, mm -hmm. or um, we know that a train can make the sound chug, right? Mm -hmm. Chugging along. <laughs> chugga, 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 you know insane. <laughs> okay, great. Let's look at the last one um, for the CH digraph. So we have the CHI slide with and building onto that with a letter N. We're going to build a word and we have a digraph there. We're going to arc that together and then we're going to put an X under our vowel. Let's read the slide together, friends. It says CHE. And the word is CHIN. 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 I have a chin on my face. All right. What's a chin? Now, the CH digraph doesn't always come at the beginning of words. It can also come at the end of a word. So here is a word with the digraph at the end. Remember, Rich. we're going to mark from left to right before um, uh, making sure that we are staying in order as we're working through that word. So as we, what do we see first on this word? We see a uh, vowel I. Good. And because we have that CH digraph following, we're going to make sure that we arc it together and we're finished marking this word. So let's point to this word and read it twice. It says rich. 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 Very nice. I'm rich because I have a lot of money. Oh, that's a great sentence. All right. So now we have this word. Um, the CH is at the beginning of the word and the vowel is next. Now we have a word that ends in what? What does this word end in? Ooh, so that's one of our double S, F, and Z rule words, right? So the CH digraph can also be in words with that double S, F, and Z. So we have the word, what does it say, everyone? The word is? Chess. 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 And we could play a game of chess together. Which we're going to arc it together, just like we did a blend in the other digraph. Um, and together, these will make the sound shh, like shh, like you're being very quiet, right? So everyone look at this letter, these two letters together, and say the sound. Shh. It can make the Perfect. word cheap. It could. So let's now um, put the vowels with this digraph so that we can build some slides. So remember, slides are not words yet, so they're going to keep that those those vowel sounds that we've already been working with. So the S H A slide, we're going to arc that S H and draw that slide arrow, and together it says, friends, Eden, what does it say? Yeah. yeah, perfect. Our next one with the vowel E, we're going to arc that digraph and draw the slide arrow, and together it says, Shah. All right, and the next one, it looks like the word she, but because remember, the slide arrow tells us that something else is coming after it, it's going to say she in this case, like she with the echo sound. All right, the next one, we are going to arc that SH and draw the slide arrow to the O. What does this say, Eden? Sha. Sha. Perfect. And the next one with the vowel U, we are going to arc that SH digraph and draw the slide arrow. What does this say? Sha. 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 Good. And the last one with the vowel I, we're going to arc that SH and draw that slide arrow. It says? Sha. Good. Sha. All right. So now let's build some words with these slides. So we have the SHA slide and we're going to build on with the letter M. So when we mark this, it is a word now, so we're going to make sure that we're marking it like a word. We're going to arc that SH digraph, and we're going to put an X under that vowel, A. So let's read the slide together, Eden. It says? Sham. And the word is? Sham. Sham. Um, Jillian, can you use sham in a sentence for us? I put a sham over my legs when I was cold. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. Like a piece of material, right? Mm -hmm. Curtains sometimes can be called a sham if it's the one that's draped across, right? Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do the next one. S H E slide. We are going to add a consonant D to this to build a word. So we're going to arc our S H digraph and X that vowel E. What does the slide say, Eden? Yeah. And the word is shed. 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 Good. So if we wanted to remember the word shed, if we pulled out the slide, it would be that S H E slide. That's why it's part of the word, right? Um, I will build a shed in my backyard to keep all of my um, gardening tools. All right, let's or, do this one. Or I'm hot, I have to go in a shade. Oh, and shade? Shade is different than shed. Shed, you could also say like a, a, a reptile will shed its skin sometimes. That's kind of interesting, right? A shed is... Something like a house. It is. It is very similar to a house. All right. Let's look at this SHO slide, and we're going to build on to make a word. We put a P at the end. We're going to arc that SH digraph and X that vowel. Let's read the slide together, Eden. It says, Shaw. Shop. And the word is? Shop. 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 Good. Yes. So you could go to the shop to pick up some groceries. Awesome. And let's do the next one. So SHU slide with um, building on with the letter T. We're going to arc that SH digraph and X that vowel. The slide says what? Sh. And the word is? Shut. Can you use that in a sentence, Eden? Shut. I will shut the door. That's a good sentence, right? Shut means to close, right? All right, last or I, one. Or I will shut vowel. my closet for my toys or True. games. You could also shut your mouth when you're supposed to be listening too, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have the SHI slide. We're going to build on to make a word and we are going to arc that SH digraph next to that vowel. So what does the slide say, Eden? Sh and the word is? Ship. Ship. I ride in a sail on the ship. I sell in a ship. Good. That is a on, great one. On a ship. Sorry. She sells on a ship. Um, and we could also, pirates also like to sell in a ship. Yeah. All right. Remember, the digraphs can come at the end of a word. So here's an example of the SH digraph at the end of a word. We're going to mark yes. the vowel first and then the SH digraph because we're staying from left to right. Let's read that word together. It says? Wait. Wish. wish. You can wish on a star, like a shooting star. You ever done that? Mm. I want to do one tonight. Well, we'll have to see a, a shooting star, so we'll see. We'll look and check. Shell. Awesome. Yes, this word does say shell. When we mark this word, though, we're going to mark the SH first. And what do we notice? What is E-L-L? -L? L. It does shell. say L, but what kind of part of a word is that? What L. skill is that? I just my vowel and put an arc under my E-L-L -L because it's a... Special vowel combination. It is. Good. Yeah. It is a special vowel combination. So that's how we would mark that word, shell. Awesome. Let's point to it and read it, everyone. It says, shell. I wanted to pick up sea sh a, a sea shell on the beach. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, great. Yeah. All right. Our next digraph is I the WH digraph. Now, this one is interesting because... In our English language, it's kind of losing its sound because a lot of people will pronounce this a little bit differently now. And that's okay. Either way is correct. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to let you know that a long time ago, most everyone would pronounce this hua. Hua. Can you say that? Hua. hua. And with this, hua. again, hua. we're going to arc that digraph together, right? Yeah. So it kind of, we're hearing a different sound than just wa. And the way you can tell the difference is that when you say wa, you have no um, air touching your hand, really. But if you say, hua, hua, you can feel air touching your hand. And that's the sound that WH makes. So you'll probably notice some people actually pronounce that WH sound differently than um, you do, maybe. Um, I pronounce it regularly like what, like in the word what. But when um, certain people, and back in the day, what it used yeah. to be is what, like what, what are you doing? 
So it's the spelling W H, but there's a little bit more emphasis on that H sound. It is just one sound, but it's a little different than just W by itself. So with that, let's practice this qu sound with some slides. So we're gonna arc that W H and draw a slide arrow. And when we have the vowel E with it, it's going to say qu. 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 Good job. All right, next one. The w H A slide, we're going to arc that um, W H and we're going to draw the slide arrow and we're going to say qua. 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 Okay, and the last one, W H with the vowel I with the slide, it's going to say qui. 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 Nice job. All right, so we have the slide qua that we practiced and we're going to build on with that N to build a word. So we're going to arc that digraph and draw, draw an X under the vowel. Um, we're going to say the slide together says when, when. and the word is when. when. When is our game next week? When? When. <laughs> when will we get a pet? Oh, that is something she really does want to know. <laughs> she really <laughs> wants a pet. All right, we have the WHI slide saying quit, and we are going to build a word, and we're going to arc that WH, X under that vowel, and the word is quit. 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 I like to put Cool Whip on my pie. Mm. Like whipped cream, right? All right. Last one that we're going to work with, with Quack. this one, we have the Quack. WHA Quack. slide with the M on the end, we're going to build a word. So WH is a, a digraph and A is our vowel. The slide says qua, qua. and the word is quam. 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 quam is like a, if you hit something, you could, it makes a noise, right? It's kind of a noise with it. So I will quam the desk or something like that <laughs> if you wanted to. Can you think of something else with that, Jillian? Oh. Oopsies. Don't pull that down. That's what no, I was thinking. Right. It's kind of one that's of those right. emotomyopia words, right? Yeah, the one that you hear. It's a sound that you would hear almost. The word is the word is its sound. <laughs> All right. Now with this word, we have a couple digraphs. Even look at this one. This one has two digraphs in it. So we're gonna arc that first digraph. We're gonna put uh, X under the vowel and put a arc under the second digraph. So this whole word has a lot of markings in it, right? So we're gonna say, what is the word? Quitch. Which which way did you go? All right, our last digraph that we're going to work with today is the PH digraph. I don't know what that says. Uh, I know. I'm going to explain it to you, and you will know after this. So arcing again because it's a digraph. We're going to arc that PH digraph. Now this one's interesting because it makes a sound of something that we already know. A letter from our um, 42 sounds of the alphabet chart. It makes the sound the same sound as the letter F makes. What sound does letter F make, Eden? Yeah, so we're going to put a little F above it. You see that little F above it? <laughs> when we mark this word, a word, when we mark a word with PH in it, we're going to put that F above it because it's making a sound we already know. It's just a new spelling. Yeah, so it says, so let's practice some words with this one. Now, this word is, has it at the end of the word. Graph, yeah, graph. So we have a GR blend. Remember, the G makes a sound, the R makes a sound. The vowel A and then the PH digraph. What do we put at the top of the PH digraph? A little F. A little F to show that it's making a sound. So when we read this, we can say it says graph. graph. I'm going to make a graph on what my class's favorite color is. My. All right. Now, cool thing about this is we can actually also build uh, suffixes at the end of this, a plural suffix. Remember when we make something plural, what happens? What do we do when we make something plural? Double. We don't double. What, if we have more than one graph, what is it called? Graphs. Ooh, graphs. Yeah, we have that S at the end. So we're going to add um, just the S. So when you have a PH digraph or uh, a PH digraph at the end of a word, we're just going to add that S. So what do we do when we see a suffix at the end of a word? We're going to graph underline it right so the s gets underlined to show that it's a suffix great we don't all right let's look at this word though this. now other suffix or other digraphs like um sh this. and ch we are actually going to prove the root word first so i is a vowel sh is a digraph um when we want to make dish more than one dish what is it dishes 
dishes. What do we add to it, do you think, then? Dish becomes dishes. What's the suffix we add to that? Um, do you remember? Jillian. Yes. Ah, yes. Good remembering. See? All right. I was thinking. You were thinking, and that was great thinking. We're going to underline that suffix, remember. We prove the root word first, and then we're going to add the suffix and just underline that suffix when we mark the word. So let's read this word together. It says, dishes. Good job. We're reading dish. All right. And same thing with the CH digraph. It would be like churches or something like that. And churches. All right, let's do some dictation practice. Get your whiteboard ready. And here's your marker. Here, Mom. Last for your grandma. I'll keep it safe. Okay, I will keep it safe. All right, let's practice some words. Here we go. Let's build some slides and some words. All right, first we're going to start with a slide. Hands ready, my slide. And remember, with dictation, you're, I'm going to say it twice. You're going to say it back to me twice. And then you're going to write it down. All right, here we go. Slide is ch, ch. Your turn. Ch, ch, ch. Good. That was fast. That was fast. Okay, stay together. Chip. Like in the word chick. Good. Write chip slide, please. All right, when you're ready, show your board. Chip. How would you mark it? I have mine ready. All right, Jillian, will you explain to us how you mark the slide? I arced my CH digraph and I put a slide arrow under the whole thing. Perfect. Let's point to it. Read it two times. Mine it says. Mine is working. Ch 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 really good. Here, you can use this one. All right, let's do another one. Hands ready? Let's build a word from this slide. The, the word is chip. Chip. Your turn. Chip. Yeah. Chip. Yep. Chip. I want a chip, chip to eat. Oh, that's my favorite sentence. That's your favorite sentence? <laughs> okay. Eh? Chip. Chip. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and show your board. You show it, Mom. All right, let me see it. <clears throat> All right, Eden, tell us how you mark the word chip. I put an arc under the... CH digraph. CH digraph and an X under the vowel because it's important, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and point to your word and read it two times. The word is chip. 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 All right, let's do another word. Ready? My word is chum chum. Your turn. Chum chum. 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 My best friend is my chum. <laughs> you can be your friend. Go ahead and write it down. Chum. Think about all the sounds you're hearing. Uh, and then how would you mark that word? Mm. Chum. What you do? Chum. Do I have a squeaky marker? You do. All right, I'm gonna explain this one this time. If I go across the bottom of my word, I have a CH digraph, and I have a value. And that is all I have to mark. So let's point to the word and read it twice. It says, Chum. 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 Very good. All right, next word. Step down is my chum. <laughs> your stuffed animal is your chum. Great. All right, here's the next one. Let's try the word mash. Mash. Your turn. Mash. Mash. I will mash the bananas for this recipe. Mash. Mm. Right, mash. I, will, I will mash the carrots. Wait, no. Oh, good. That works. Okay. If you have a cooked carrot, you could mash it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep, think of all the sounds you hear and write them down. Eden loves to make sentences for these. Mash. All right, Jillian, you want to explain mash for us? Moving left to right, I put an X under the vowel, and then I arced the SH digraph. Hey, mommy. Good. Oh, Eden wants me to show you hers. All right. Put your word yesterday twice. It says mash. 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 I will mash a strawberry. Oh, great. We can mash all sorts of things. Now, let's make this mash into a plural. So what does mashes. mash become? Mashes. So here we go for the word is mashes, mashes. mashes. Your turn. Mashes, mashes. Good. Eden mashes the bananas for the recipe, right? Mashes next to it right here. Why? Because that's our next word, right? Mashes. Mm. 
And again, we don't have to mark anything except for the suffix okay, in that one. Good. So we just write it next to mash and we have the suffix es, right? Because it ended in sh, we mm -hmm. have the es suffix. Perfect. All right, point to your word, read it twice. It says mashes. Mashes. Great. All right, next one. Show mine. All right, we'll show Eden's too for mashes. All right, next one, we're going to do a nonsense word. So if you want to draw your nonsense star already, you can. My word is shink. Shink. Your turn? Shink. 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 What does shink mean? It doesn't mean anything because it's a nonsense word. So think about all the markings in the word shink and what sounds you're hearing and how you might mark those sounds. Uh. What do you think? Ooh, yep. There you go. Let's fix that. All right. This show mine. All right. What do you notice on this word, Miss Jillian? Oh, I missed something. I'm going to write it again because I made a mistake. Oh. What's the sound to you? So I started with my SH digraph, then I X'd my vowel and then arced the special vowel combination. I mm. Hey, Eden, take a look at this word. This one's a little bit trickier for her. What does it have on there? Special vowel combination, N K I N K. All right, point to your word. Let's read it twice. It says shink, shink, shink. shink. Good. And no sentences there because it's not a real word, right? All right, let's try another one. Hands ready. My word is whiff, whiff. Your turn. Whiff, whiff. Good. Take a whiff of that cooking. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Is this the last one? Um, almost. Right, whiff. What? Write the word whiff. And it is a real word, so we can mark it like that. <laughs> All right. Jillian, how did you spell with? W-H-I-double-F for the Fran San Francisco Zoo rule. And then I arc W-H digraph and put an X under the I because it's a vowel. Great explanation. Oh. Perfect. All right, let's point to that word, read it twice. It says, whiff, 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 whiff. Shama, shama. Oh, okay. Well, we're dropping marker boards all over the place. Eden wants me to show you her board. <laughs> nice. Like you got it. <laughs> okay. One more. All right, let's do. One more. One more word. This time it's a nonsense word again, all right? Woo. All right, here we go. The word is fod, fod. Your turn. Fod, fod, fod. Remember, they have a digraph in them, so think of a different spelling for a sound that you might already know. Fod. What sounds? What sound is it going to be? What do you think? What's the other digraph we learned? Ooh! I know what you're doing. That's good. Mark your word down. Mark fod. It. Fod. All right, I'll explain this one. I did put a asterisk in front of my word because it's a nonsense word. I'm gonna arc my pH digraph and put a X under my vowel. Let's point to this word and the word is fod. 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 Very good. All right, let's play the eraser game. Hold on, I gotta write it down. That's all right, go ahead and write it down. All right, first thing I'd like you to do is point to the slide that's in the word chick. Which slide is in the word chick? Point to it. What does it say? Chick. Good, go ahead and erase it. Go ahead we and erase yours. Share it. We do have to share our, our eraser. All right, next one, let's point to the word that means your buddy. Which word means your buddy? Chum. Chum. Good. Go ahead and point to it. Read it. Chum. Chum. And, Chum. 
Remember with our eraser game, we're gonna point, read, and then erase the word. Can I see the eraser? All right, next one, let's point to the word that follows the San Francisco Zoo rule. What word do you see? Whiff. 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 Point, Whiff. read, and erase. Whiff. Whiff. Good job. Even you can erase it while you say it. You can erase it while you say it. That's, That's great. what I like doing, and I have a hummingbird shirt. Oh, great. I like it. All right, let's see the next one. Are you ready? Let's point to the word. Uh, let's point to the word that is nonsense. Uh, or no, let's point to the word that rhymes with sink. Which word rhymes with sink? Shink. Shink. Go ahead and erase that word while you read shink. it. Shink. Shink. Very good. Shink. Shink. All right. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's point to the word that has a suffix on it. Which word has a suffix? Mash mashes. Which word is the suffix? Which one has the suffix? What is a suffix? It's the word ending. So the word mashes has the suffix es, mashes. right? That's our suffix. Es is our suffix in that word. Mashes, mashes. Good. And mash? The word mash doesn't have a suffix on it. It's the root word before there's a suffix on it, right? All right, let's point to the word that ends with a digraph. Which word ends with a digraph? Mash. 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 Yes. Yeah. Mash. Mash. Point, read, erase. All right, now let's point to the word that has the same vowel sound as the word pot. Which one has the same vowel sound as the word pot? Fod. Fod. The Fod. Read and erase. Very good. What word's left over, friends? Chip. Chip. All right, Chip. go ahead and erase it. Let's Chip. finish up with our lesson. I'm going to share my screen again so that we can finish up with our lesson. All right, Your let's laser read. Laser pointer. Mm -hmm. Laser oh, pointer. We'll put the laser pointer on so that we can sh point to what we want you to read. All right, so now this time we're going to name and put the sound with it. So when it's outside of the brackets, we're going to say the, the letters, C-H, and then when we say the sound, it's inside there. Okay, ready? C-H. And we're gonna go down. The slide is? Chat. chat. The words are? Chat. Chat. Chop. Chip. And chug. Good, the S-H digraph. Let's do it. S-H-Sh. Shop. Shop. Ship. Shed. Wish. All right, the W-H. Let's do it. W-H. Quip. Quim. And quit. Nothing. That's not doesn't mean anything. You're right. It's a nonsense word. Last one. P H F. I don't know what I just said there. Let's try that one again. Ready? P H. And the slide is fa. The words are graph. Fub. Fom. And. Zip. Zip. Perfect. There's three nonsense words. There are. Yeah, and let's read the sentences this time. Good. Let's read the sentences. The, the ship, ship will not crash. crash. Next one. When, when will Bill get, get his wish? 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 <laughs> okay, good. Next one. She, she is the chess champ. champ. Last one. Chad, Chad is a whiz at, at math. math. What does whiz mean? It means he's really good at it. Ooh. Really good. If you're a whiz at something, that means you're really good at it. Um, All right. I'm Let's a whiz at doing words. Sometimes. She is a whiz at doing words. Great. 
All right, Sometimes. let's do our little book. All right. We are going to do our little book to go with um, our transfer. So I'm going to stop my share so Jillian can share our. Uh, let me turn off this laser pointer first. My laser pointer. And we will stop our share. Jillian, will you share our little book for us? All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Tricky. All right, so I'm seeing um, the transfer card still. Is that? Oh. Let's uh, see. Oh. Get off of it. Oh. oh, there we go. Go ahead. Hi, Jillian. Let's look and see. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. What's this book called, Eden? Beth and... Josh. Good. You got who's, some digraphs in there, huh? Who's Josh. Hey, as we read this book, we are actually going to play the detective game. So we are going to look for digraphs after we read each Jillian page. Jillian Caster. Yeah, Jillian Caster is our student. All right, here we go. Can you read with us? Go ahead, Eden. Beth, Beth and Josh, Josh lived in red. Rock Gulch. There was a fish pond next to the gulch. Josh would catch fresh fish with a Mesh net. All right. Is he Josh? He must be. Can you find any digraphs on that page? Josh. Oh, ooh, Josh, there's an SH digraph. Any others? Beth. Beth, a TH digraph, one that we learned last time. What else? Gulch. Ooh, Jillian sees gulch. CH. I see. I see the word catch with a CH digraph. Any others, Eden? There. There, yeah, TH digraph in there. I also see fresh, the SH digraph in fresh. Jillian, do you see any others? Did we say fish? No, we didn't. And the last one I see is mesh, SH, awesome. Let's read just one more page. Why? Because um, we're running out of time. All right, let's read this page, ready, go. Then, then he, he would, would bring the fish to Beth. Beth, Beth would fix a dish of fish for Josh. Any on that page? We're playing that detective game. Any others? You Josh. Ooh, Josh, yeah, S-H again. Fish. Josh, fish. S -H. Beth. Beth, good. T-H. Dish. And then. And then, yeah, T-H and then. I also see the word the T-H digraph. Cool, Mom. There's a lot of digraphs. Have you guys noticed that there's a lot of digraphs? I in, can do that really well. Yeah. All right, let's finish up there. We, we are, we're going to finish up and show you your practice page that we have left. Sorry. Let's Jewel. pull up that me, 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 me. practice page. Me, All right, me, so me, the practice page that we have for the digraphs is page 80. Um, you can, again, you can download this in the chat box if you're joining us live, or you could um, pull it up under the, if you're watching the recorded lesson, you can pull it up under that lesson that's recorded. Uh, you can also just take a picture of it from the screen if you would like, if that's easier for you. And you can keep practicing these phonic skills after, um, after our lesson today because we are finishing, finished with our lesson. Um, again, if you have any questions for us, please um, call uh, and we will get with yeah, you and, and help you out with any questions that you might have. Remember to keep working on the, on the software if you, if you want to keep working with phonics and um, I hope you had a good time with us and we will see you next time. You can um, now start chapter three, which is great. Yay, so have a congratulations. Great I'm finishing, Bye. Bye. finishing chapter two. <laughs> nice job. Bye. Bye. Bye.